All right, everybody, I want to talk about my new tank today and my struggle with getting it fully cycled in, but I don't want to give away the secrets of my new tank yet, so unfortunately we're going to be standing here for a few minutes looking at my uh, little workstation. So what I did was I set up the new tank. It's a 20-gallon long. I used some of the established rocks and filter out of my... 10 gallon crayfish tank but I put a lot of additional rocks in it and I put additional substrate in it and the long and short was that it was not fully cycled in I didn't have enough living bacteria in there to handle the bio load of the larger 20 gallon tank so what I've been doing is the traditional way of using biomaterial from other tanks I've been scrubbing out some of the biofilters and pouring that water into the tank and when you see the tank eventually you will realize there's not a lot of circulation. It's a long tank and it has a waterfall filter at one end, so there's not a lot of water flow around the tank. And I think this is what is inhibiting uh, the growth of my nitrifying bacteria. So yesterday I was still getting about one part per million ammonia and about a half a part per million nitrite that would develop in about a 24 hour period. I've been doing daily water changes and it takes about that long for the ammonia to get back up to one part per million. I have pretty hardy animals in there so I'm not worried about letting it get up to that level but I am doing a water change daily. So yesterday I went out and I bought some of this. This is the first time I've ever tried using this before. This is simply bacteria. This doesn't have any of the water conditioner or anything in it. It only adds bacteria to your tank. This is supposed to treat 20 gallons. So what I did yesterday afternoon was poured about two-thirds of this pouch into the tank after a water change. And now it has been less than 24 hours and I'm still climbing back up to about one part per million ammonia and about a half a part per million nitrite. So what I have to do now is go do another water change because that ammonia is in the tank. I don't have any kind of conditioners or ammo blocks. Uh, I have shot a video about how they work. Uh, I'll attach a card right here. I'm not really going to be using those. I don't trust them. Um, they only lock the ammonia up for a certain amount of time and if your cycle is not working properly uh, they could unlock and become ammonia again and if they haven't been dealt with by your cycle you'll suddenly have a big dump of ammonia so again if you want the details you can watch that other video but I'm not going to use the ammo block or anything like that I am going to go do the old-fashioned way of simply removing the ammonia by doing a water change and once I've done that water change I will again add the rest of this pouch and I'm going to pour it directly into the filter this time rather than doing what I did yesterday which was sort of pouring it around the tank uh, even to the areas where the water was moving a little less uh, you know not not quite as much water flow around the far end of the tank as near the filter itself so this is my first experience using this stuff I was recommended this and not um, the uh, what is it Tetra safe start the reason being the safe start also has the water conditioners and the ammo block and all that so that you can actually get it started before your cycle's finished and I simply wasn't going to worry about doing all that and paying the extra money so I went with the uh, bacteria alone. I was also told that the safe start doesn't actually work very well as far as getting your cycle started and that this marine land was much much better. So according to the package I should pour it in and be done and the tank should be cycled and I beg to differ I see otherwise so go ahead and subscribe that way you won't miss my big unveiling of the new tank I might be doing it this afternoon after I get this water change done I get the tank all nice and cleaned up and looking pretty and uh, maybe we can start talking about it and showing it off I really am dying for everyone to see it so make sure you subscribe that way you won't miss the big unveil when I get to it and I thank you for watching this one hope that was helpful to somebody and I'll see you real soon in the next one